Hey, this is Nathan Lynch with Team Semper Fi. We're going to cover the maintenance of your bicycle today. Along with that, we're going to also cover some products that you can use, fluids, tools, so on and so forth, to accomplish that mission. We are not affiliated, partners, or endorse any of these products directly. These are things that I use, my personal preference. Please remember that you are the first line of defense for this equipment's longevity. So the less you do now, the more you will pay later. So please, maintain your equipment. It will help with safety, prolonging your use of the equipment, and ensuring that you enjoy your ride. So when we started with the wardrobe box, I told you that we, if we were going to use it again, there would be certain things I would want to change on it. So, we are going to use the same box and ship this. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull this off the stand. I'm just going to lean it up against my toolbox here. I'm going to bring the box over, split it open, and then go ahead and set it inside. Now the important part of this is that you, when you do it, you set this side in first. You can lay it down and slide it in that way. The only problem with that is half the time you spend chasing it across the floor while you're trying to put it in the box. Um, but usually you want to put this side in. Because these handlebars are so wide, um, it's not going to sit in flat like most, like the last video I did with the, uh, the top end. Uh, Force G that was black. I was able to put it on like flat against the back side. You're not going to be able to do this for this because of the width of the handlebars and the width of the seat. More, more to the fact that it's the width of the handlebars. So it's going to go in sideways. So you definitely want to mark which side is up and make sure that you know. So top, sides, whatever. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the stand. I'm going to bring the cardboard box over, prep it, talk a little bit about why we do um, do it this way. And then we're actually going to take that old box that has been repaired. We're going to stretch it to the length it needs to be because last time we just shipped it with like this on the back, but there was no front wheel. So we've added another six inches to a foot. So we're going to have to extend it out a little bit. Not a big deal. Um, that's why I took two wardrobe boxes and put them together, one over the top of the other, so you can, you can adjust the length. Once we've adjusted the length, I'm going to go ahead and retape, and then I'm going to tape long ways all the way down to reinforce that so it doesn't move. Then I'm going to take the orange wrap, I'm going to tape it on one side, and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it um, so that that box handles the shipment a little bit easier. Um, so I can get I can get probably one more trip out of that box before I have to replace it with a brand new wardrobe box. So recycle, reduce, reuse. That's what uh, I'm going to show up next. Now when I release this from the stand's rear hold, I definitely need to repack that back as it's, it was the one sitting on the stand. As you can tell, I'm not even lifting this in a soft balance. So standardly, these are, are well-balanced stands, but as soon as you start adding all that packing material and all the weight changes on this, be very careful if you're using the stand, knowing that it's gonna go ahead and shift shift this uh, center of gravity on you.
So this is all the use of this stand we're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and move it out of the way. We're going to bring the box back in and uh, I'll show you how to mount it in the box. So this is the original box. It shrunk a little bit when I, um, I dropped it on the ground. But it is going to need to be extended. As you can see, there's a slight difference of height. So all I did was extend it a little bit. The easiest way to do this is go ahead and use this tab on the side of this, this top tab. And then kind of measure it. It needs to go up a couple inches. Not a problem. Just sit there and hold itself. I've got a little bit extra room. Shouldn't be any problem. Now, now that I know it just needs to go down a little bit. Start taping. Once it holds that current level, you can see it, it because I have to stick it in that other box, I have this pinch here, so it's never going to reach there. So, what I need to do, I need to offset for that. So, the easiest way to do that. Easiest way to get rid of that gap is going to be once I tape it, it's got to go from here all the way down to the other end and make sure it's nice and tight. Do a couple cross pieces across so that it's not going to move. But as I did, we are going to put the wrap on it. But this gap right here is going to continue to pull away and it's going to try and shrink on me. So. keep it from shrinking on me, all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down on top of the bike. Because I don't have the overhead clearance in order to do this in this location, I'm going to go ahead and have to lay this down partially and then just feed it into the box and slide the box over the top using the other, uh, other end being up in the air. She's in the box. The hand cycle's now in the box. Now all I have to do is just tuck it up underneath, patch a few holes, and go from there. I'm going to go ahead and bring the table over and use it to put it up on. Alright, so as you as you can see, she's not straight in there. She's actually canned a little bit, which is fine because of the, the way the handlebars are. So my estimation was very close. I actually close the box up and tape it down. So the importance of this is because the box has been reused so many times, we're going to want to make sure that we can square everything up as much as possible. So there should be no gaps in the closures.
anything that's out or cut, definitely want to patch up. As I covered earlier, you give me that gap. Definitely want to take that out. Use clear tape first. Close everything up. And I'm actually going to use packing tape that actually has fabric attached to it. Now this is the side that has that giant gap. Where it pulls it through. So it means we're gonna go the whole length. ship this anymore it's going to be waterproof with all this tape on it. Now we plug in the gas. Alright, now comes the fun part. Wrapping it with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do top and bottom. And then I'm going to do, then I can just run around the sides with it. Since this is not going to be reused, I'm just going to tape it down.
All right, so I got the hard one done. Let me move this table real quick. All right, so now that you get that done, I'm gonna start going around the side. The tighter you pull this, the harder it's going to be on there, the longer it's going to last in transit. leg to hold it still It'll help quite a bit I'm just slowly wrapping around Now I'm nearing the end and I've already covered the area twice that we had that gap. So, time with a little bit of overlap at the bottom. Pull that in. I'm going to tear this off. Now because this end is one of the bottoms where it ends, I'm actually going to throw some tape on it. Not very 
much tape I just ran out. Any part where this ended, where I don't think you got a good seal, I'm going ahead and throw some tape. Where it's less likely to get itself un untucked. So I'm just going to go along and everything down. We have one very well packaged. All right, so this is the top. I know that because that's where the contents are for this box. So we're gonna go ahead and mark it. course, make sure that you mark it fragile. So this is the top, that's the front of the bike, that's the bottom of the bike. Alright, so this is way overpacked, way overprotected, but the investment that you made in your equipment will definitely pay off in the long run. You'll be able to reuse this bike again, you'll be able to reuse the packing material and the box, most likely for one more trip home. Again, remember, you're accountable for your equipment, your own safety, and the safety of those around you when you ride. So ride safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you out there on the road. Through the years of experience working with adaptive sports and working on bikes, I can tell you, the best thing to do is maintain your equipment and learn about it. The worst thing to do is to try to fix something and not know what you're doing. So please, talk to your local bike shops, talk to your mechanics, and talk to your fellow riders, and they will help you out. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here on the web.